As most five axis programmers know, when you're doing a complex five axis part, like this radar mount, having your tools and holders accurately modeled and representing what's actually running on the machine is critical. And I wanna talk through some of that working with Amugi. I was using their tools. They were providing profiles or step files of the tools. How I import those into Mastercam and how best to utilize the formats that are coming from your tooling providers. So let's take a look. In this case, we're doing a deburr toolpath. And a lot of times I'll build toolpath with a generic tool just to understand the process kind of going in. And then I'll refine that once I understand what tool I want to use and how I'm going to go about that. So let's look at this deburr toolpath. If I backplot that, you'll see I've got the generic holder here. It's just a straight cylinder and then a pretty generic quarter inch lollipop end mill. I just wanted to test out and see how deburr worked down along this bottom face. So now I wanna add some realism to this. I wanna take the actual tool that Amugi recommended for this operation and use one of their FPC holders as well and, and build that assembly inside a Mastercam. And I'll show you my workflow for how I typically do that. So let's go to the parameters of this tool path. I'll go to the tool page and you'll see this is a quarter inch lollipop cutter. So I'll double click on this quarter inch lollipop. You can see I've got that generic definition here. And also notice that these three buttons are grayed out. Now, Dan from Amugi supplied me with that step file. So let's go to this button, import custom geometry from a file. And navigating over here, I have a step file for this tool that he recommended. I'll open that. It's gonna ask me if I wanna overwrite the existing tool geometry. In this case, I do. And this gives me a tool profile here. Now you'll notice there's an actual model of the tool, a representation, a graphic representation of that solid spun around. And that is that green and gray profile you're seeing. Now you also see there's some wireframe around it. And that is Mastercam taking its best guess at parametrically defining this tool. So currently these profiles don't exactly match, but I also have the PDF drawing of this same tool, right? So I can take that same tool, these values that I see here, and type them into the parametric definition of the tool. Now the cutting diameter, that comes across just fine. One thing we do have to change, this shank diameter didn't read in exactly right. So I can override that to five millimeter. The taper length, that is 62.7 millimeter, and the shank diameter is 10 millimeters, that is correct. So this gets me a much more accurate representation of that tool so that now the master cam tool and the rendered imported tool profiles match exactly, which is what we're going after here. Now what I'll typically do is I'll label this six millimeter lollipop cutter. This is part of their turbine series of end mills. This is an Amugi tool. And I do like to put the manufacturer's part number in there as well. This is just really great for organizational efforts after and allows me to really look up tools if I ever wanna reproduce this project. Okay, now I'm ready with the proper tool. The next thing I wanna do is get this holder defined accurately. And Amugi also has a full database of their FPC holders in a mastercam tool.tooldb. This is one of the big advantages of working so closely with our partners at companies like Amugi, where we're able to, to get this data consolidated in a format that reads directly into Mastercam. So I'll pick a holder, an FPC holder that I think will work well here. We'll grab this guy and I'll let this regenerate. Now this deburr toolpath with backplot or full machine sim or verify, I've got that holder and that tool accurately represented. I can detect any gouges that would happen, any holder interferences with the part. So this is a real critical part to accurately programming five axis parts and five axis machines. This lollipop end mill is more of a specialty tool for a Moogie Franken. So for more of their standard profiles, you can go right up to the Mastercam Tech Exchange, download those tool DBs and read them right into Mastercam. But for some of these more specialty profiles, you've got to go through this process of defining it and being able to import that step file that's provided from the manufacturer just makes that really easy 
and gives me a lot of confidence walking up to the machine knowing that my posted code is good and collision free.